so last class uh, so already we discussed right uh, how to create a sample maven project and uh, how to create a mostly web project and all and also where is uh, how to create a web project and uh, how to run uh, so maven commands and all can you see my screen <laughs> okay so last class you know right uh, so how to create uh, so sample uh, maven web project but if you come to real time mostly won't create any project already they created and a project is running right just uh, how to clone and uh, how to update farm.xml uh, file how to update farm.xml file uh, mostly in farm.xml file so how to add dependencies and all this is the main file right so farm.xml file is the main file if you see somewhere <coughs> so farm.xml file is the main file so here mostly you know right uh, so we have a server for example uh, uh, you know right a development server we have a test server okay they don't have any access uh, developers they don't have any access uh, what they will do <coughs> they will ask so can you add the developer they will give particular dependencies and all particular dependencies and all so once they give a dependency and that particular version so what we have to do we have to update in our uh, palm.xml file so here also palm.xml file available this is our source code right under source code uh, we have palm.xml file and uh, so this is the test server so this is the test server here also source code if they modified anything if they want to update particular version and all they don't have access to these servers <coughs> so that case uh, what they will do if you go here if you go here google just if you search if you search uh, maven dependencies maven on you know right apache org what is this uh, so dependencies last class already we seen right uh, maven dependencies if you go here uh, this is the official website so if developer they given a particular dependency name and particular version just assume uh, i need to add some of any jar for example uh, java related or whatever it may be test related for example here i given uh, so jsp java server page anything so if you click on this is the dependency name and they will give uh, this particular version this is the dependency name so this is the dependency name and they will give particular version can you add 2.3.1 if you give means now here these are the so it will support uh, maven it will support gradle different different types uh, see available so they will give particular version <coughs> so this is the name dependency name this is the group id and uh, this is the jsp iphone api so if you, they are given artifact id version name is just we are coming and search just search here and copy this one copy this one and go to palm.xml file mostly we are adding uh, so these are the dependencies if you go here web project if you go here already last class we created right so if you go here if you go here just uh, open this this is the palm.xml file just to open a notepad or whatever we are using editor and all just to open here so if you go here just to right click write something mouse is not working properly okay now see here this in second control transport okay now my email okay can you see my screen hello yes sir is visible okay one minute okay now if you go here uh, so this is the palm.xml file right so if you go here already we copied this uh, dependency so what we have to do go to your palm.xml file where is your palm.xml file already last class we created right this is our web project 
so under this project uh, so under this project so there is a form.xml file this is a form.xml file just to open uh, so whether notepad or whatever you are comfortable so click on more click on more and just uh, open in uh, so notepad or in zip and all just uh, click on this so once we click uh, so now it is already you know right uh, some tags and all already we can see some tags and all already we can see now see here already you know this is the root tag if you go top so this is a root tag even if you come any project this is a default structure so under this uh, so there is a dependencies see here dependencies is the root under dependencies we can add multiple dependencies if you come to real time uh, we can see 50 100 or 200 dependencies depends on project so here we can see only two three dependencies right already last class i added two dependencies one or two dependencies already we added <laughs> but if you come to real time we can see many dependencies so we can see many dependencies so same so dependencies is the root tag under dependencies we can add many dependency dependency is the sub tag that's it so no need to do anything so before that uh, so interview they are asking uh, so can you explain few tags so can you explain uh, so few tags so that is uh, what are the main tags available in uh, so what are the main tags available in palm.xml file what are the main tags available in palm.xml file okay now if you go here Now, if you go here, uh, so if you go here, so enter mostly they are asking, uh, so what are the main dependencies? Now, if you go here, this is the maven.apasi.org. This is the official website. So this is what is palm.xml already you know, right? Uh, project object model. And uh, this is the XML format. Everything it is in XML format. Now, if you observe here, these are the basic. Uh, mostly, if you see any palm.xml file, these are the basic uh, tags guys see here basic tags group id already you know right uh, so what is group id now if you see here if you go here what is group id so this is your package name so this is your package name what is artifact id so these are the basics artifact id is nothing but your project name artifact id is nothing but your project name and uh, what is the version number and uh, which version that is a uh, different different right uh, so that is it will change based on your version it will change next packaging now see here what type of packaging whether you want a jar file or war file or er file these are the basics if you see any palm.xml file these are the basic tags these are the basic tags see here group id artifact id version number packaging and also dependencies you know right so what is dependency is nothing but a jar file don't confuse here dependency is nothing but a jar files so generally if you use ant manually we are copying those jar files and we are pasting to the particular path but right now we are using maven right maven is a no need to copy manually so just uh, there is a palm.xml file what are the dependency dependency is nothing but uh, if you don't have this jar file this project it won't run that's it that is a dependency sir this is nothing but a jar file only this is nothing but a jar already last class we seen right where we can see these all jars and all under the dot m2 directory so where we can see test ng uh, 7.8 point all the last class we seen right if you go c colon users dot m2 directory repository under the repository we can see this particular version jar file and all that's it dependency is nothing but jars only now if you see here parent so if you come to real time uh, there is some cases you know right parent model and sub model child model parent so here i am using only single project right so here this is a parent this is also child i don't have multiple uh, so projects here i don't have multiple models so but if you come to real time some case they are using a uh, parent and child so before running parent first i need to execute the child model so that case also we are using there is one tag is there that is the 
parent and a child. If you want to, we can call. These are the basics. And mostly, interval also they are asking how to add models. So now if you go here, now if you come to here, now just assume uh, this is my uh, this is my project and this is the root palm. This is the super that is root is nothing but a super palm. Okay, just assume this is a project ABC. This is the ABC project under APC project. I have some sub models. Sub models before running this ABC. I want to call there is a one tag is there models. <coughs> so before run this, this is the ABC project. Before running ABC project, I want to call XYZ project. That is some dependency. This is a tag guys models. This is a tag M O D U models. Models is the tag under models. The sub tag is model. Enter also one or two guys they asked. So how to configure models in palm.xml file? So this is a model under model. So we can use so name equal to under this model. We can use a name equal to. So even if you go and search how configure models in palm.xml file models. Uh, in uh, palm.xml file okay palm.xml file if you type here uh, see here multiple model projects so if we have multiple models that is nothing but dependency so how to configure that one this is the tag model see here parent palm parent is nothing but a uh, main and also child form sub models so if you want to configure uh, so that case we are using uh, see this is the syntax models models is the root tag under models model which model you want to call core model i want to call service model i want to call web model these are the these are the these are the models this is the parent so parent means this is a main this is a main before calling this one first we need to execute this one so in that case we are using uh, models very simple only. What is the tag, guys? Models. If dependencies, how we can add it? Same, right? Dependencies. Under the dependency, we are adding a dependency. Under the dependency, group name, artifact ID, and version and all we are passing. Same way, if you want to call parent project palm, add all the sub models. If you want to add any sub models, this is the one tag. What is the tag name? models under the model model name which are the models you want to call that model name we have to add here so where in palm.xml file in where we need to add palm.xml file so palm.xml file that's it so enter also if you want to add any if you want to add any if you want to add any sub models so that and all we can add it and also properties this is the dependency management right so if you go dependency management so these are the some basics but uh, if you come to project that is not no mandatory you need to configure all these things and all <coughs> these are the some of the basic tags whatever you want uh, just uh, copy and search it for example i don't know how to configure dependency management so if you copy this tag if you copy this tag so just uh, coming to here dependency management name itself dependency management in uh, uh, in the right Mavel. So now see here how it will work. So dependency management. See, this is the A, B, C project. How it will work? One depends on us. dependency scope. So that case, uh, dependency management. Now see here. So already dependencies. Dependency. Now see here dependencies. Now if you go here, palm.xml file. Here we are using dependencies, right? So what is this? If you want to add any jar file, so those and all we can add under the dependency management. See here. So dependencies under the dependency we can add a dependency under the dependency. What is the group ID? What is the artifact ID? So those and all we can add under the dependency. See here dependencies. Now one is the dependency. What is the group name? What is the artifact ID? What is the version? And same, whatever dependencies you want to add, so that and all we can add in the, the under the dependencies. That is nothing but jar only. Already we seen right how to add dependencies and all. Same. Now there is one more tag. What module already know? 
parent this is a parent model how to configure some properties i don't know how to configure some properties so some default properties available see here this is very simple only how to configure a form.xml file everything whatever you want also how to properties in form.xml file okay so how does properties uh, see here uh, pro properties are values placeholder i want to pass some values so even maven or ant wherever you want if you want to pass see here properties java version how to configure for example this is my form.xml file okay so this form.xml file we have to execute only java 8 i don't want java 11 now got it this is very simple only see here yeah. see here properties there is one tag right properties maven dot compiler source which maven i want to use compilation see here this is a properties now if you go here properties under properties i want to mention specific java dot version 1.8 so if i configure like this your your project is running which version guys only particular java version it won't pick latest suppose you installed multiple java java versions in our mission now got it suppose if you run this project maybe my project i want to run only java particular version so that case if you want to configure any values and all there is a tag properties under the properties so this is a tag java dot version dot i given 1.8 now this project this this is running which version now if you see here even if you see here i given 1.7 okay no no i don't want uh, so i want to execute uh, so 11 so my i want to execute uh, th this form.xml uh, file i want to pick latest java version or something so that case uh, so we can use uh, which version you are using 1.8 so that values and all we can configure under the properties clear okay, sir now got it place folder sir specific specific yeah. whatever you want if you want to configure specific versions and all that and all all jars and all dependencies all jars and all dependencies if you want to configure any models any models there is a model stack there is a model stack so in interview also one or two mostly they are asking can you explain can you tell me what are the main tags you configure in your project? So now you know, right? So what are the main tags? You know, right? A group a package, you know. So how to update this package and all. And also dependencies, how to add all jars and all. And also, you know, right? Model tag. So how to configure sub models and all. And properties, placeholders. If you want to uh, pass some values, specific values, that and all. Uh, so we can give under the properties tag now this is the build settings there is a build you know right what is the build settings so if i run this project so what is my uh, what is my project name guys what is my artifact name it is generating by default my project name right devapps dot war file it is generating now got it by default it is coming uh, so which name devapps dot uh, devapps test this name only it will come suppose i don't want to already last class also i saw right we see we seen right let me open this one mm -hmm. i'm also working very slow something else now wait now if you go here now if you go here web project and if you go here this is your okay if you go here target section if you go here target section so what is the default name guys here I generated artifact file, right? What is the file name? DevApps test.war. What is DevApps test here? Our artifact ID, right? Now got it. So palm.xml file, artifact name in which channel, same name, then artifact file generator. Clear? Anyone any doubt here? Here, see here, DevApps test.war same name we can see here also where we can see if you go here palm.xml file if you go here palm.xml file i given some name same name it is generating your artifact name now clear 
Yes, sir. This is the default name or project name. No, no. So suppose if you want to change this name, I don't want to change here. While creating artifact file, I want to change this name. If you want to change, there is a build is there under the build, under the build, we can add also file name also. Now if you go here, now if you go here, so what is this build tag? For example, just I don't know how to configure build tag and all, just copy and okay. So now if you go here, you don't know how to configure, right? So if you see here, build. Palm.xml file. So now if you go here, now see here. Not here, Jenkins, right? Not Jenkins. Configure. Palm.xml file. Build configuration, palm.xml file. So now if we go somewhere, boom. now they are adding a, see somewhere where they added build, view, search it. Many people say that. file out now see here external properties and all we can configure like this under the build also we can add some of the plugins we can add plugins and final name whatever name we want to we can configure see external properties definitely uh, see if you want to configure any externals there is one tag build there is a under the build plugins under the plugin so they want to add some plugin group id they want to add some plugin. What is this plugin? Uh, specify the integration test related plugin. Here they are adding uh, some uh, uh, test related plugin and which is the version and configure. So this is the app server home where you want to. So that is adding and all. So like this we can add it. This is the one way and also we can configure it. Uh, so let me come to here and uh, github dot github. If you go here, if you go here, click on this. I will already I configure some projects. Just I am going to show that one. Maven. So if you go to here, uh, Maven, Maven. Uh, so Maven, uh, Maven web project. If you click on Maven web project, if you click on Maven web project, if you select uh, what is a branch name, for example, development branch. Now if you go here, palm.xml file. Now somewhere we can see uh, these are the plugins already you know how to add dependencies. This is organization. Now see here how to add less plugins and all. <coughs> so this is a build, right? So this is a build. So by default, uh, these plugins how to add it. These are the plugins. So now see here there is a final name. There is a final name. So by default, if you build this project, by default, what is my artifact name? Here, whatever name here you configure, same name it will come. This is the name, correct? <coughs> Maven hyphen web hyphen application dot war file it will generate correct suppose uh, so there is i don't want this name i want to change this name so that case also under the build section we can configure a final name there is a sub tag under the build final name whatever name for example i want to generate whatever name you want we can give here so if you build this project it is generating the same name it is generating same name only. Now got it guys. 
so under the build under the build we can add plugins and we can add final name so this is depends on your requirement whatever you want this here he added many plugins so here added eclipse plugin added and also here added what is this maven plugin added so here added uh, this is the one plugin java version also we are using maven compiler related plugin so this is the maven and this is the final name under the final name we can see artifact name which name you want to generate even if you go here so if you go here now let me run so if you go right click and open so we open or go to here just click on here click on here click on here right uh, so just type a cmd Manjunath is waiting, sir. Manjunath? Yeah, Manjunath. Manjunath is waiting, no? You're not showing Manjunath? Uh, Text form, sir, for that. What is that? Malayo, sir, Jaina, Japan. Okay, sir. Okay. So now go to here. Go to CMD data. Now see here. So uh, this is the DAR. This is the CMD, right? CLS. And uh, what is the command? MVN space. MVN space. If I give package. If I give package, it is generating artifact file. So what is my artifact name? By default, it is coming uh, my project name only. See here, devapps test devapps devapps test dot var file. Suppose I don't want this name. I want to deploy different name. So that case, what you need to do? Go to here. Go to here. Copy this. Go to here. Copy this. And go to your form dot xml file. This is my farm.xml file, right? So open this farm.xml file. So now open this farm.xml file. Open this farm.xml file. Now go here. Uh, we can add. Uh, so that is wherever you want. Just we can add that uh, build tag. We can add build tag. Now see here under build. So already here build is there, right? So under this build, I am going to add. Uh, I am going to add. So come here. Now my system is working very slowly. Okay. Now go wait, wait. Now here I'm going to add a what is this a final name? Okay, here I, for example, I need to give, okay, my one, just I give one uh, project. So just to close this final, final, final name, that's it. So just to close this tag, see here, final. So now if I update like this, now whenever if you trigger this one, automatically it won't give devops test now it will come uh, what is the build i give a name final name is project name whatever name you want uh, we can give it same story here already same here i configure so if you go here see here final name whatever name you want we can give it so this is a tag now i saved right now control s save i added now go to here now run it same command Now, where is this? I think already duplicate is there. See here, duplicate. Already somewhere, already I configure. Again, I give one the same name. Duplicate tag, final name. Now, understand, guys? So, somewhere already I configure. Again, I added one more tag. Now, I'm getting this error. Duplicate tag. Now, we have to remove that one. I don't want this one. Remove this one. Remove this one. Okay. Remove this one. Uh, where is that? Somewhere duplicate is there. 
search it final name slash final final name right so somewhere it is already there just search it click on here Mouse is working with some problem. It is not working properly. Go here. There is this file. Now already here uh, some final name is there so that is uh, no need to add again a uh, final name so if you go here uh, there is see here right go here go top go top already here see here oh my mouse is uh, it is not working properly that is reason uh, it is going up and down see here dependency final name and uh, here the printed jar so, so here final name what is the name i given here devops tester just if you want to change this name for example i want to maven uh, an application just i given uh, change this name so this is the final name and plugins also we can add under the build tag only plugins also now go to here go to here click on here click on here okay now uh, so just uh, same command run maven package now earlier see here now so earlier it is generating uh, so devops test right now see here what is the name given maven application so in project uh, some one or two case i also changed my project so they don't want to generate uh, so default name for testing purpose uh, we want to change that artifact name if you want to change this artifact name what is the tag guys under the build under the final name under the final name whatever name you are passing same name it is giving artifact name now clear clear Srinath what Kishore yeah. clear yes yeah. sir okay so some cases uh, they are asking uh, i we don't want the uh, same name so we want to change the artifact name so that case uh, so this is the tag uh, and go to that tag and we need to update uh, we need to update uh. so now if you go here and enter also just remember uh, at least uh, so four five uh, at least uh, remember uh, four five at least remember uh, so four five tags mainly what are the main tags and all so those and all uh, so we can uh, so remember so those and all uh, we can remember so whatever you want uh, so we can remember and uh, so if you see and uh, so this is a model you know and the properties uh, build uh, and reporting suppose if you want to generate any reports uh, even if you don't know anything even if you don't know anything just to go to just to go to uh, you know right uh, so go to google just copy this tag this is the official document all tags and all available here i'm chopping in chat box even if you whenever, whenever if you need uh, just copy and paste the tag in our google that's automatically will get see here these are the reporting tag if you want to generate and see here more project information so if you want to add any other information project name description url <laughs> these are the optional not mandatory everything we need to add whatever you want we can add it so see here distribution plugins repositories whatever you want we can add it so these are the default uh, tags available in palm.xml file 
depends on your requirement depends on your project we are going to add uh, some tax see these are the build related settings these are the more project information these are the basic tags in palm.xml file these are the basic tags in palm.xml file enter also more on most of the people they are asking uh, so can you explain uh, palm.xml file structure palm.xml file structure how it look like so now we know right this is the project is the root tag and uh, so project going and this is a group id artifact id version package dependencies and if any modules and properties and dependencies and pa models parent and all so these are if you want to configure any bills we can configure if you want to configure any reports we can configure and if any other third party urls url so now environment variables if you want to set any environment variables so in that case also we can use uh, this is the environment settings okay so environment uh, settings and based on this uh, based on your requirement based on requirement whatever you want uh, so we can whatever you want uh, so we can configure we can build the project and uh, so once the build is done when the artifact file is generated we are going to deploy this uh, form.xml file this is uh, you know right artifact file any one server so next class i will show you how to deploy this artifact file whether it is working or not so how to test it now here uh, see here palm.xml file uh, we configure and also it is generated uh, so artifact file so what is the artifact file name so this is our artifact file name so once this file is generated whether it is working or not so how to test it we want to deploy any one server right now see here we have two files devops test.war file and same way maven web application dot war file already i changed the build name right final name one so now we have two artifact file names now how to check whether these two artifact files are working fine or not so if you want to check it we have to deploy these files any one server i hope already you know right tomcat server or jba server or weblogic server we are going to deploy these artifact files any one server okay so next class i will show you how to deploy this one and how to check whether this is working or not your artifact file generated okay but how to test is as a devops engineer we have to test right whether this file is working or not so whether you can able to access this application or not so if you want to check we have to configure we have to configure we have to configure we have to configure so that is artifact files also clear guys anyone any doubt no, okay. okay so next class i will show you how to set up tomcat server and how to deploy this artifact files and how to test it basic whether it is working or not so next class uh, so i will show you okay clear <laughs> so that's it uh, today so if you have any doubt uh, so we can ask just uh, create one project and try to add dependencies and all and we can easily understand clear so evening uh, same uh, as usual time sar will take yes sir okay uh,